Let's begin this module with having a basic understanding on, what is Unix. Unix is an operating system which was first developed in the 1960s. It is popular multi-user and multitasking operating system. Unix was created at Bell Labs by Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. The attributes of Unix are Stability Portability and Security Have you wondered how Unix was developed? Let's now find out the history of Unix operating system. In the late 1960s, researchers from General Electric, MIT and Bell Labs started a joint project for developing an ambitious multi-user, multitasking operating system for mainframe computers known as Multics Multiplexed Information and Computing System. But this failed. However, Ken Thompson, who was a researcher at Bell Labs, got inspired by this and he decided to write a simple operating system by himself. In 1969, he wrote a simpler version of Multics on a PDP-7 in assembler and called this attempt Unix Uniplexed Information and Computing System. He wrote a simpler version of Multics on a PDP-7 in assembler and called this attempt Unix Uniplexed Information and Computing System. Then, Ken Thompson teamed up with Dennis Ritchie, the author of the first C compiler. They both wrote the Unix kernel in C. This was indeed a big step forward in terms of portability of the system and released the fifth edition of Unix to universities in 1974. The seventh edition that was released in 1978 marked a split in Unix development into two main branches, CISP System 5, and BSD Berkeley Software Distribution. BSD arose from the University of California at Berkeley where Ken Thompson spent a sabbatical year. CISP-based Unix flavors have traditionally been more conservative but better supported than BSD-based flavors. The latest embodiments of CISP, SVR4 or System 5 Release 4, and BSD Unix are very similar. However, some minor differences are to be found in the file system structure. Then in 1991, Linus Torvalds, a Finnish undergraduate student developed Linux a free open source Unix OS for PCs. Linux is neither pure CISP nor pure BSD. Preferably, it includes some features from each, for example, CISP-style startup files but BSD-style file system layout. Did you know? At the time of development of Unix, when Ken Thompson wrote Unix, short commands were used to minimize the space needed to store them and the time needed to decode them, as memory and CPU power were at a premium in those days. Hence the tradition of short Unix commands we use today, for example, CP, RM, LS, MV etc. 